Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Monday, 25th week in Ordinary Time. Let us include in our Holy Mass the following intentions. For the thanksgiving of Gerald and Desiree Pagku, Lito and Lori Zapanta, Marlon, Joyce, and Ira Takdol. For the birthday thanksgiving, Stephen, David, 75th birthday, Mel, Puson, Makapagal, Dolly, Coloma, Jackie Bustos, Net, Del Castillo, Dowin, Nara, Canlas, Sara, Manaloto, Tolentino. For the special intentions of Catherine and Three Star Soto, Christine Sotelo, Gian Carlo Tubig, Jenna Nikdaw Ko, Agnes David and family, Bernie Baby Henson and family, Phil Janet Castro and family, Mark and Michelle Rivera, Herminio Lynette Nukum and family, Eleanor Ventura, Jeremy Robes, Arman and Mariette Nang, Rosana Reyes, Jimmy and Inday Santo Domingo, Patrick and Sarah Gokwinko. For healing, speedy recovery, and good health of Mario Salamat, Martin Dizon, Edward Lucas Maliari, Roma Jean Alvarez, Susana Sotelo, Leticia Castro, Oraya Yuna Soto, Remigi Mateo, William Oweyi, Florinio Torre Torres, Albert Sonko, Jeffrey Johnson, Jericho A. Canlas, Virgilio Lut de los Santos, Natividad Buan, Joan Manansala, Joan Pamela Nang Season, Jet Castro, Adelaida Manialak, Rene Santos, Baby Zaina Lorin Hope Matitu, Jocelyn David, Ron Ingersoll, Father Edwin Bilay, Eliadora Balingit, Divina Gracia Carbunco, Ricardo Nogoy Sr., Basilica Binuya Quezada, Angelo C. Kizon, Edel Umlas, Cyril Blue L. Galvez, Eller Vitu, Gloria Panlilio, Ernesto Dizon, and those whom we pray for healing. For the eternal repose of the souls of Enrique Capis, Rodrigo Antonio Fabian, Monsignor Constancio R. Panlilio, Enrique P. Capulong, Marieta Villanda, Jimmy Del Rosario, Johnson Ojo, Claudita L. Tolentino, Godofredo Jesus and Anita David, Zoilo Severina and Lourdes Cunanan, Anet and Antonio Sicat, Arnel and Peter David, Leticia and Melchiades Basilio, Rodale Uleya, Christopher Glenn Binuya Kizon, Enemino and Asuncion Umlas, Faustino Santa Maria Jr., Luciana S. Olalia, Elena Parico, Vicente and Ellen Tantamco, Alex Resurrection, Alejandro and Milagros Resurrection, Maria Teresa Morales, Magno and Francisca Hippolito, and all poor souls in purgatory. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Deo S. Galang.
Let us all rise and glorify the Lord by singing our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening po. Good evening po, Amo. Let us celebrate this Mass in Thanksgiving. For we are called to be light, to shine, and let the light of God be seen to witness to His goodness that He may be glorified. My dear friends, our sins would cause darkness in our life, the vision of our dark world, and even confuse other people. For the sins that we have committed, we ask the Lord to pardon us and enlighten us with His mercy. Together we pray. I, I confess, confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Please remember your prayer, your intention in this Mass. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim, when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, go and come again. Tomorrow I will give, when you can give it at once. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done you no harm. Envy not the lowest man, and choose none of his ways. To the Lord, the perverse one is an abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but the dwelling of the just he blesses. When dealing with the arrogant, he is stern, but to the humble, he shows kindness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial psalm, let a response be. The just one shall live on your holy mountains, O Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who sings the truth in his heart, and he slanders not with his tongue. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. 
the just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who lends that is money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent? He who does on these things shall never be disturbed. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Please stand in honor of the Holy Gospel. Alleluia. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care, then, how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what has seemed to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are light. Nothing is hidden that will not be known and come to light. When you are called to be light and we are light, like a lamb that never be concealed in a vessel and set under a bed, rather on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. Ang liwanag sa ating buhay, hindi naman dapat itago, hindi dapat ikubli. Ito ay dapat makita sa mga tao ang liwanag sa ating buhay. Light is essential to darkness. Mahalaga po yung liwanag, lalo na pag madilim. Kagaya ngayon, napansin ko mahagay, mahagay yung li- dilim. No? Dati pag ganitong oras, nakikita ko pa sa labas, naglalaro yung mga bata. Pero ngayon siguro dahil September na, and then, mayroong bagyo, madilim na kagad sa labas. Mahalaga yung liwanag sa dilim. When it's dark, when it's not that clear, when it's confusing, we seek light. Hindi lang yung madilim na walang kuryente, walang ilaw o gabi. Pwede yung madilim yung kalagayan. Yung hindi mo nakikita nung susunod, that you are not sure what will happen next. Hindi mo alam kung anong mangyayari. May sakit ka. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung resulta ng yung diagnosis o biopsy. O may problema ka sa negosyo mo. Hindi mo alam kung anong mangyayari sa negosyo mo. Kung makaka malalagpasan ang problema ang hinaharap. Or you may be confused kung anong magiging direksyon sa buhay mo. Kailangan mo nang Liwanag. Kaya nga, kahit sa Pilipinong salita, pag hindi naintindihan, when they are confused, sasabihin, ipaliwanag mo nga para mali- malinawagan ako. Allow me, to be, allow me to be enlightened. And that is important. Our faith enlightens when it is dark. When it is not sure, 
when there are uncertainties. Light illuminates everything around it. Pag sinindihan mo yung ilaw, lumiliwanag ang lahat ng malapit sa kanila. It does not serve itself. Yung liwanag, hindi naman po sinisindihan yung ilaw para tignan mo yung ilaw. Hindi naman tayo nagkakagastos para maganda yung ilaw dahil tinitignan natin. You don't, you don't turn on the light and look at the light. Tinitignan mo yung hindi, laki, hindi dating nakikita. Light illuminates everything about it. It does not serve itself. It allows those unseen, unnoticed, and hidden in corners to be seen and recognized. Kaya sinisindihan natin yung liwanag, yung ilaw, para makita, mapansin, yung hindi natin nakikita dati sa dilim. When you are light, yung hindi napapansin, nabibigyan ng pansin. When you are light, yung nakatago sa sulok, hindi naniniwala sa sarili, o nasa dilim dahil mahirap ang kanyang buhay at kalagayan, you allow them to be noticed and to be recognized. You do not put light to yourself. You do not ask people to recognize you. Pag ikaw yung liwanag, hindi ka masyadong conscious kung pinapansin ka, pinabati, pinapas pinapasalamatan, o nare-recognize. Because that's not our role. The role of being light is for others to be seen. And then, light is consumed as it gives light. Napansin niyo po, like a melting candle that is consumed as it illuminates. Ito po mga kandila natin dito. Habang nagpapalabas sila ng liwanag, konti-konti, nauubos din sila. Ganyan siguro ang buhay natin. We fulfill our lives only when we give light and consume ourselves in the process. I remember John the Baptist being a precursor of the real light. Sabi niya, He must increase and I must decrease. Pag binibigay mo sarili mo, parang nauubos ka and that is our fulfillment. Pag po tayong magalit, parang napapagod ako, parang nauubusan ako. Kaya kapampan, malam mo, pupupus ko. And that is fulfillment. When the candle is already lighted and it's already melted totally, it has fulfilled its mission. Ngayon po, usong-uso yung mga kandila na may design. Yung mga kandila na parang decoration. O minsan natatawa ko, kasi sa amin din meron sa bahay. Marami kaming kandila. Pero hindi namin sinisindihan ginagawang decoration. <laughs> okay naman yun, di ba? Pero, it does not serve its purpose. Nagiging dekorasyon lang. Kaya pala hindi sila nauubos. Kaya nandyan, matagal na. Kasi hindi naman sila nasindihan. They never fulfilled their real identity as candles. Kaya nga, baka naman we preserve ourselves too much. Up to the point, we do not really realize our calling and mission in life. Pwede malakas ang katawan ko. Maganda yung itsura ko. Maganda yung balat ko. Hindi ako mukhang uh, napapagod. <laughs> Pogi ako. Maganda ako. Ngayon pala, hindi mo naman talaga binibigay yung sarili mo. Sa mga anak mo, sa bayan, sa pamilya, sa simbahan sa mga nangangailangan sa Diyos. The Gospel today in invites us to proclaim the light. Huwag niyo pong itago ang liwanag sa buhay niyo. Hindi naman sa pagyayabang. Dapat natin ipahayag ang kabutihan na ginawa ng Diyos sa atin. Profess, confess, and proclaim the good news the Lord has given you. Di ba po, pag sinabi natin confession, usually, it talks about sins. Nag-confess ako ng kasalanan ko. It talks about the bad things you have done. Confession po yun. 
Pero gusto ko pong dagdagan ng konti yung understanding natin sa confession. Pwede kaya ako mag-suggest na positive confession. Though this is not sacrament, no? And this is not sacramental. Pero pag nagko-confess ka, sinasabi yung kasalanan mo. Kailangan yon, dapat lang yon. Pero may panahon, we should also confess not only our sins, but even confess the good things that we have done. Kasi ako minsan, tinatago natin yung kabutihan natin. Maybe out of humility, we don't want to brag about it. But the truth is, in this gospel, sabi niya, pagliwanag, may liwanag ka, huwag mong itago under a vessel. Huwag mong itago sa ilalim ng kama. Baka masunog pa yung bahay niyo. Put it in a lampstand and allow it to recognize, to be recognized, not for ourselves, but to glorify the real source, our God. That positive confession is like bright confession. It, it, it recognizes God in our midst. Kahit simple mga bagay lamang, recognize them. And you see there is God and there is light. Bigyan ko kayo ng halimbawa, when you discover a hidden beautiful garden, halimbawa, nakita ka ng konting garden dyan sa sulok, ang ganda-ganda, ang ganda ng kulay ng mga bulaklak, anong, anong, anong variety ng halaman to, ang ganda ng daho, it is a beautiful proclamation of God's creation in our garden, in your home, in your place. Or maybe you are reading and savoring an inspiring quotation. Nagbabasa ka, tapos may nakita ka. Ang ganda naman ang sinabi nitong quotation na to. You can keep it. Ako, ginagawa ko yan. Pag may nakita akong magandang quotation, babasahin ko and then I keep it. I write it. Magagamit ko to sa homily ko. Magagamit ko to sa buhay ko. Or maybe thinking about a deep line in a song. Kung bisa, nakikinig ka ng music. Tapos, narinig mo yung music, ipiplay mo ulit. Che-check mo yung line. Wow, ganda nito. Halimbawa, minsan, narinig ko yung song ng, sorry, luma ng song. Yung Beatles. Yung Yesterday. Yesterday, di ba? Tapos may line din. Sabi niya, I'm not the man I used to be. Hindi na ako yung da dating lalaking. I'm not the person I used to be. Maybe the ideal self in the past, yesterday. Hindi na ako yun. Parang I already deteriorated. Parang the song regrets about Dati, I'm a very ideal person, but this time, parang hindi na ako ganun. No? That line for me could also speak to us. Yung dating buhay nating binibigay todong-todong sarili. Now, we're very conscious of ourselves. And there are songs that really creates not only the melody and the nice music, but also the message that you can celebrate. There's so much deep artistry in this creative writers. Or maybe listen to an inspiring speaker. Ngayon pong bago misa, nakikinig ako ng lecture about the development of politics in Europe, particularly between Russia and Ukraine, and how it developed and how it turned into a war today. Hindi ko man kilala yung speaker, but I see how beautiful they put together the sequence of events and how Putin so afraid that Ukraine become part of NATO and modern Europe. Or you can be enjoying and relaxing the best music collection that you have. Ako po, kung Fred, meron akong turntable doon. Meron akong plaka, <laughs> yung vinyl music. Yung galing pa sa tatay ko. Ngayon nangungulekta na rin ako. I, I buy them. And then I listen to old songs. Carpenters. <laughs> uh, Beatles. Yung mga standards. And I see how beautiful this music must be kept. And kahit nandyan lang ako sa kwarto ko, okay na ako. Lalo ng panahon ng pandemya, kahit di tayo lumalabas. There's beautiful music. And we should enjoy it. Even for free. Or maybe you are digging into a good comfort food. 
yung mag-enjoy ka sa masarap na pagkain. Halimbawa, yung comfort food natin, yung paksiw na may konting uh, patis, konti-konti lang. Tapos yung sinangag. <laughs> Tapos may kape. Uy! <laughs> Ang sarap, no? no? O kaya yung specialty ng nanay kong asado. Asadong manok. May asadong sarap-sarap, no? Parang hamonado. Yung kanyang asado. Kahit yung sauce lang, okay na ako. Misan, meron din masarap na liluluto yung nanay ko, yung, yung uh, dinuguan. Konti-konti lang, okay na rin ako. Pwedeng sa pandisal, pwede rin sa kanin, pwedeng almusal, and any time of the day, kahit araw-araw, pwede ko. Digging into our comfort food. Hindi ba kailangan ka mong punta sa restaurant? Hindi ba sineserve yun sa buffet? Wala mang ganyan sa mga restaurant dito. Yung masarap na paksiw ng nanay at sa bahay. And this is a very beautiful experience of simple things that we can enjoy. Or maybe you can enjoy a remarkable painting. Kahit hindi mo man bilhin, hindi sa'yo kasi mahal, pero you see the artist behind the message of a beautiful painting. Patingin-tingin ka lang, ang ganda ng ginawa nito, ang galing niya. The color, the effort, and then basahin mo pa yung the life of the artist, all the more you will appreciate the work of art. Or maybe you will meet a kind heart. May makikita kang taong mabuting tao. Di mo mang kilala. Tapos mapansin mo, ang bait-bait ng taong to. Ang ganda ng ugali niya. Parang talagang gusto niyang tumulong. Hindi mo mang kilala. Or maybe you will encounter a beautiful soul. Isang bata, very innocent, very jolly, very inspiring. As a young volunteer, you see them leading other people. There's a beautiful soul in our midst. All of these, my dear friends, are evidences of God's existence. These is small things that I mentioned to you, at least from my experience, are light. Liwanag. Hindi po tayo na, 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 nabubuhay sa madilim na panahon. Totoo, marami tayong problema. Totoo, marami tayong masasabing hindi tama sa ating lipunan, sa politika, sa gobyerno, sa simbahan, sa bayan natin, sa barangay natin, sa parokya natin, sa diocese natin. Marami po tayong masasabing kulang at hindi dapat at dapat ayusin. But we should also proclaim the good news, the light, the simple things around us. Otherwise, we will not survive. We might fall to depression <laughs> and also a dark darkness of criticism of our own selves and situation. I believe these are fingerprints of God's presence. Alam niyo po yung fingerprints? Yung, di ba, kumisan, ginagamit yung fingerprinting sa negative way, di ba? Oh, dumating yung magnanakaw, ito yung fingerprint niya. Pero, you can also see fingerprints as the sign of God's presence. Itong mga kabutihan, sinabi ko, you can also mention your own experience. Itong malilit na bagay na bubuti, ito'y tanda ng Diyos ay nandito. Kahit hindi mo nakikita ang Diyos, you do not see God, you do not meet God as he is, as he is, na parang taong kamukha ng panahon ni Jesus. Pero nakikita mo, ito'y mga tanda, the fingerprints of God's presence. In the gloomy days of the peak of the pandemic last year, to stories were about who is sick, who, is, who, who died, or who were infected, sino yung dinala sa hospital, sino yung namatay, sino may COVID. These are becoming the templates of our conversations and daily concerns. Parang yun na yung inisip natin, mga problema. This is spell disheartening, desperation, and discouraging aura around us and even inside us. Malungkot na sa labas, pati sa kalooban, malungkot pa rin. It is dark outside and then it creates darkness in our consciousness. We are children of the light. We were baptized with candles lighted by our parents, ninongs and ninangs on their behalf and in our behalf. Dahil pari po ako, lalo na paris-pris ako, 
Madalas po tayong may binyagan dito. At parte ng ating binyag ay ang liwanag ng mga kandila, ng mga ninong, mga ninang, mga magulang. Dahil gusto natin itong mga bata, binibinyagan natin, ay babuhay sa liwanag. Sana this will be our celebration because Jesus is the light. The Paschal candle lighted in the midst of darkness signals the victory of Easter, that light triumphs over darkness. Pag Easter, di ba, mag-start po tayo madilim, tapos konti-konti lumiliwanag hanggang masindihan natin yung kandila ng Paskwa. And for whole year, nakasindi po dapat yan. Pag may, may binyag, hindi po gumagamit ng lighter. Hindi po gumagamit ng posporo para sa mga kandila. Sinisindihan natin from the Paschal candle, we lighted at Easter. Para sinasabi natin, ang liwanag na ito ay nanggagaling kay Jesus. In John chapter 1, verse 5, it says, makes it absolutely clear that darkness does not have the ability to surpass or to hold the light under its domain. Darkness may try to prevent the light from shining, but it can never hold it back, for the light will always be shining permanently. Light will always shine through the darkness. Tandaan po ninyo, kahit maliit na kandila lang ang daladala mo, pumunta ka doon sa madilim, hindi kayang i-turn off, <laughs> hindi pwedeng patayin ng, ng dilim, ang kandila. It will remain. Pwede siguro yung hangin, pwedeng mamatay yung kandila. Siguro, electric pan, pwedeng mamatay yung kandila. Pero yung dilim, it cannot turn off the light. Kahit madilim, as long as you keep your light, it will break through darkness. I just want to end with a principle sa natural science. Meron po principle sa natural science, tawag nila heliotropic. Ano po yung heliotropic? It's a principle that all living things, all living systems, and all living organisms gravitate towards that gives them life. Ang lahat ng mga buhay, inahanap nila kung saan nila nakukuha ang grasya ng kanilang buhay, what sustains life. Bigyan ko po kayo ng halimbawa. Pag itong mga halaman nating magaganda, mga halaman nating magaganda sa ating altar, iniwan nyo dito. Mapapansin natin kung masyadong magtatagal. Usually naman, we, we bring them out after a few days. Lalabas at lalabas sila. Ahanapin yung liwanag. Naglagay ba kayo ng halaman sa loob ng bahay? Tapos napapansin nyo, their direction of their bodies and their and their leaves are bent towards the light. Parang lumalabas, parang tumatakas sila sa bintana. Hindi po sila tumatakas. Hinahanap nila yung liwanag. Because that sustains their life. That makes them growing and alive. You are light. I am light. We are light. We were baptized as children of light. Ito po ang ating mabuting balita. This is our good news for this Monday reflection. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. Jesus attended to the appeal. Jesus compared the light who Light is a basic need of life. A lamp is put on a lampstand so that those who enter the house may see what is in darkness. Jesus compared his disciples to a lighted lamp to emphasize their importance and mission in this world. For every prayer we shall answer, Lord, let us be light to others. Lord, let us be light to others. Lord, let us be a lighted lamp 
set on a lampstand. May we counsel the doubtful, admonish sinners, comfort the afflicted, and bear patiently those who do us ill. We pray. Lord, let us be light to others. Let us be like a light to the world and a city set on the mountain. May we be a firm support to others in moments of doubt, fear, trials, and temptations. We pray. Lord, let us be light to others. May we not conceal our gifts, but use them for the service of others, so that these may not be taken away. We pray. Lord, let us be light to others. May our light shine before others, directing them not to our own selves, but to you, who alone are the source of all lights and blessings. We pray. Lord, let us be light to others. May we not be afraid to stand for honesty and truth, for you see what lies in secret and reveal everything in its proper time. We pray. Lord, let us be light to others. In silence, we offer to the Lord our personal intentions. Almighty Father, Jesus, your Son, is the light of the world and conqueror of darkness and death. Help us to imitate him, to do good for your glory and our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Friends, that his sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings of your people, that what they profess in devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so... It is right that all creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels and saints, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Be holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, it will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please Let us me. proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of this body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Florentino, our Bishop, and all the priests and our friends who serve you in our church, especially here in our parish at the Holy Cross. Remember our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we all together call God our Father. Amanamin, masalangit na tambahin ang ngalan mo. Papasamin ang kaharian mo. Suntin ang loob mo. Ito Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we share with one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. I love you and desire to receive you in holy communion. At this moment, I cannot receive you in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Come then spiritually and dwell in my heart. I embrace you and unite myself totally to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen. Ang Panginoon ang aking pastol, pinagigin hawa ko, lubos ang Panginoon ang aking pastol, pinagigin. Stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, your family, and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are light. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prihil ang Panginoon, umawit ang kaganakan, at tutukin ang gitara, at ang kaya niyang lira. Iba.